Hello, I'm Bobby. And I'm Billy. And today we're all opening up old stuff for sure. We're going to open up some old stuff we found at a thrift shop, Valley Village specifically. We got some pogs and we got some crazy bones. We've done crazy bone opening on our channel before. And I'm planning on opening up some more packs after this video. Yes, and uh, possibly a giveaway. Possibly a giveaway. Maybe we'll figure out which crazy bones we're going to send to some lucky fans or maybe not depending if we get zero views on this video or maybe we'll get maybe we'll give away all of them everybody comment one you want and it might maybe it'll come in the mail <laughs> uh, all right bobby crack into these pogs and let's get, let's get a little taste of nostalgia here okay let's now where, where did you play with pogs when you were a kid i played with them intensively sometimes i would go to school with a just a pocket full, and I come well, home with a... Explain these things to me. I, what are these heavy ones? Like, I don't know what's going on here. Well, these ones are the slammers. They're the ones not made out of cardboard. I mean, there's some plastic oh, ones. Oh, look at this one. It's like metal. It's really heavy. Yeah, that's what we call the saw blade. These are the ones you also pitched at the guy. If you, <laughs> if you lost. These ones look really different than all the other ones. See, the thing about pogs is they really have... In my opinion, and the opinion of the world, I guess. They have no real value. <laughs> kids brought them to school. and But kids, like, draw on them. Drew on them. And, I mean, the whole objective is the, of the game is to have them upside down. You guys put an equal amount into each other. You throw the slammer at it, and whatever ones go over, you get. So, I mean, there must be some valuable pogs out there. For any pog experts watching little, this, maybe cringing. Little Barney. Barney Rubble. Somebody doesn't want us in here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's a, a Robin. Like a Batman. Ooh. Oh, it's a McDonald's Pog. Look at okay, that. I remember 20. that. Maybe we can get them all. There's 32 of those. Let's see. I remember when I was a kid, all the, everyone wanted the ones with the skulls on them. It said poison. Or eight balls. Which is really cliche if you think about it. Nice. Oh, Fred there's Funston. one. Wait, there's one that Barney, Barney Rubble. That would have lasted in your day. Oh, there <laughs> we go. There we go. All right. Well, that's... Oh, so there's another know. metal one. What else? Oh, another slammer. We'll put those aside. So I don't know what else there is really to say about pogs. Other than we play with them as when we were kids. Finding them at the thrift shop is kind of fun. Maybe Bobby and Billy will play later on today. Yeah. Um. So... <laughs> Let's move some of these aside. Wait. Now, the whole point of this video. Oh, yes. The crazy bones. Yes, the crazy bones. These the are aliens. Low dollar amount. From series two. You'd hope to get an alien. Series two is things. So, you get scissors, a chest of drawers, a door. Those are the kind of things. And you'd hope to get an alien. So, this kid must have opened a lot of packs to get these aliens. And it uh, looks like they wrote their names on the back there. So if you see this video, please message us and we'll be happy to send you back your childhood possessions. <laughs> uh, what, let me see that again. We want to do a big shout out to Rachel and uh, Carly. Maybe they, they shared together. I don't know. They shared together. Must have been. Not only are we brilliant at producing, we are great at English as well. Look, they did some <laughs> custom... Some custom work there with a paint marker. I like that. That thing is full of bones. Some highlights. So we'll start with what's in the bag. That's Got a aliens, alien. which were really hard to get. All right. Oh, look at this. So the, you say the aliens come in the thing set? <laughs> yeah, in the thing set. Not every pack had an alien. You would hope to get an alien. You're really good at this, Bobby. Well, he fell right over. Look at his head. It's top heavy. <laughs> what the? There's something in there. Oh, what could it be? Oh, what is this? That must have been hey, his favorite. The koala? That must have been her favorite. Look, he's got a little baby koala with white eyes, too. Ooh, koala. All right. I looked for my book in the basement, Bobby, but I couldn't find it. Maybe for the next video we'll have that ready to go. The one that shows all the what their names are. And... Yeah. I mean, they have different names depending on where you are in the world. 
Canada, Spain, I know how they they call them completely different things. Ooh, this looks like a <laughs> a treasure trove. All right. Right off the bat, this is what catches your eye. I don't know what this is called or those were called um I actually completely forget what they were called. But, but I know they're important. There was less of them. There was only like 12 of them. All right. Something like that. Feel free to correct me in the comments. What's this guy? It's been a while. That guy's like a they were all Candy machine. I actually think this one's a, f like, I don't know what that one is. Okay. <laughs> Next. Oh, that's from the original set. That is from Series 1. I I recognize Series 1 just because they were, they, they look more like faces. Mm -hmm. Whereas Series 2 was, it was called Things, like, so that's exactly what it was. This is from Series 2. Series it's 2 like is a, a thing. It's a, yeah. That one actually glows in the dark. Any, any of these ones, they glow in the dark. These were my favorite as a kid. Let's try. And... These are the the ones from. Put them down here one by one. Oh, there's one from the original set, the bully. Okay. It's hard to remember, but some of them I do. French Both fries. And I mean, this was found at a thrift shop. I'll remind you for about three dollars. And these are fun to play. You play games with them where you you throw you knock them over, you know? But not not the good ones preferably. <laughs> this is another uh hobby we had as kids in Canada specifically. Where things would get damaged. I mean, you could just see the if this will focus. The corner of this guy's ear chipped off. <laughs> Crazy bone battle. And I know some of them uh they were whistlers. You could blow into them, and they were—they had manufacturing. Uh, yeah, that's what they were. I'm pretty sure they were just manufacturing defects, where you'd look on the bottom, and you'd hope that one of these air bubbles seeped through, and you'd we'd blow in them, kind of like a bottle. And they'd make a whistling noise. <laughs> they'd make a whistling noise, hence whistler. And I'm, I don't think those actually had any increased value. They're just fun for us as kids. Yeah. Well, Billy, that was that was incredible. Actually, I was that's a that's a dose of nostalgia that's gonna last me till next week. <laughs> I know till next week when we f hopefully find some more. And actually, stay tuned for our next video because I do have some original Crazy Bones things packs. I'm gonna open about seven, I think, in the next video. Hopefully, we get some aliens. I mean, this is look at the value on this for three dollars. All the fun we just had, man. I don't know what to say. All right, till next time, please like, subscribe if you if you feel like it. It would really help us out.